protest that changed my mind. Yep, I've seen this. This is a PragerU video of an article she wrote years ago. They're so lazy. This is such lazy content. This is literally, I was a Democrat for years, but then I went to a Trump rally. They said Trump protesters were hateful, but then they were nice to me. Later, when I went online, I said the Trumpers were nice, and somebody said, you're wrong, dummy, and they had a Black Lives Matter Twitter profile pic, and that's when I realized- Look at this, I skipped to a random point in the video. Could those Trump supporters really be as irredeemable as they said? Holy shit, all right, okay. All right, sure. Can't, it's fucking PragerU videos, Jesus Christ. Absolute fucking mind poison. I wouldn't be caught dead at a Donald Trump rally. Oh, I no. mean, come on, oh. I'm giving money to Bernie. And yet there wow. I was, February 2020, listening to the President of the United States address a crowd of 11,000 supporters. How in the world- 11,000 supporters, huh? Gee, what, did they fill up, what was that, a bowling alley? Where, where, where was the where was the rally being held at? No problem, Lilith. I'm just here vibing. How did that happen? Well, it all started with knitting. I knit to relax, to escape the drama of real life. I just want to point out, by the way, that this per entity's uh, face could have been slapped onto any anti-SJW 2015 cringe compilation feminist-owned BTFO'd Ben Shapiro wrecked laughing video ever made. And in fact, I'm pretty sure if I just posted a picture of this woman, like at a random, like Trump, pro-Trump Facebook page and said, this stupid cunt said black people are oppressed, then they would probably like immediately get to work. Like, um, like, like making memes about how she's not even a human being. Okay. I like, it's, I don't know. It's just a little weird to me. But like almost everything nowadays, even knitting has become political. Uh, to the point hey, really quick. This is a really easy way um, to, to, deter to determine who is above and below like 75 IQ. If a person complains that something is political, they're below 75 IQ. Now nah, this is political. Sports are political now. Video games are political now. Elections? I remember when those weren't political. Shut the fuck up. Everything. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm pretty sure here. If I what what did she what did she say? Knitting, history of knitting. The oldest knitted artifacts are socks from Egypt. No more yarns. History of knitting. Let's let's see. Early European knitting. The earliest known knitted items were made in Europe by Muslim knitters employed by Spanish Christian royal families. You can see them used in tombs or whatever. Cool, cool. Uh, this is probably super cool or whatever. Uh, later, uh, lost over Europe. The importance in Scottish history. Um, knitting was uh, such an important occupation of those living in the Scottish Isles during 17th and 18th centuries that whole families were involved in it. Damn! So it sounds like in some cultures, knitting were, was so essential to their culture that it actually becomes sort of a mainstay politically of what it came to mean like uh, and represent for those people. That's really fascinating. Industrial Revolution. Wow, the implementation of new technology and new social paradigms changed the way people related to knitting as an art, as a hobby, and as a lifestyle. Whoa, everything's political. Shut the fuck up. You're not smart. I think that only those with politically correct views are welcome in the online knitting forums. Wait, that's not knitting being political. That's just other groups of people not wanting to be around your dumbass. What the fuck is that? Well, I didn't realize children's soccer was getting political, but when I went to the pizza party after my little boys game and called the waiter the N-word, they didn't want to associate with me anymore. What the fuck are you talking about? You think I'm kidding. No. I wish I were. No, what? No, they just didn't want to spend time with you because you're unpleasant. I've seen your videos. You're stupid. They, they, pro they probably just thought like, oh, just kind of this dumb bitch. Like, I don't know. We could knit without her. You think I'm kidding? You think people might want to not associate with people based on their beliefs? The, the truth is far graver than you believe. But I'm not. The online knitting mob is real. What and the fuck? like all mobs, it's mean. 
That always made me uncomfortable. What? The insults and the name calling. What? But I despised those knuckle dragging Republicans as much as the next knitter. What? So despite my discomfort, I never gave it much thought. Truth Wait, is. Wait, what? I... This is like beyond parody. Okay. I, because we, we know how this is going to go. Like, the knitting community were full of far left radicals who did not tolerate any ideological dissident, but the Trump supporters were super happy to, to explain to me why 1350. I'm more interested in mastering a three needle bind off than discussing immigration policy. What? What are you. If you just wanted to. She's making it sound like when you go on the, like, all right. Hello, this is, this is knitting, uh, knittinguniversity.org, and um, in, before you can access the forum posts on Three Needle Bindoff, you will need to complete course on immigration. Like, what are you... What are you talking about? Just avoid the threads that are on immigration policy. Just... That's it. But the knitting mob wouldn't drop it. It became a fixation, a daily litany of how horrible the president and his followers were. It okay. started to bug me. All I wanted to do was knit. But then I- This is unironically the I just wanted to grill meme, but stupider. It's not even satirical. It's the, uh, it's actually the meme, but it's being done unironically. For Prager U's extremely low IQ audience. I began to wonder, could those Trump supporters, some of whom were literally my neighbors, really be as irredeemable as they said? I assumed the answer was yes, but I had to find out. And that is how I came to be at a rally for the president on the eve of the New Hampshire primary. My friends urged me not to go. They feared for my safety. One offered me her pepper spray for protection. Aren't? Aren't conservatives constantly tell whenever like a woman is like, hey, women get raped a lot. Isn't the conservatives immediate answer just like, hey, carry pepper spray, stupid. Wait, isn't that that's like a normal thing. N not. Yeah, that's just like a normal friend thing to say, I think. Like, it's not even like a conservative rally thing. Just, I, I, I mean, even like if it was a regular non-Trump rally, you know. I declined, but I won't pretend I wasn't nervous. I had no idea what to expect. She's actually, like, kind of selling out for friends. Can you imagine being this bitch's friends circa, like, a year ago or whatever? A a and they're watching this, and they're like, I just wanted to make sure you were safe. And she's using their care for her life as a, as a political tool to construct this narrative of the irrationality of the left? I arrived four hours early. The line outside the arena was already a mile long. At first, I said nothing to those around me. I didn't want to- Okay, first of all, no it fucking wasn't, okay? I went to the Bernie Sanders rally in Tacoma, which had significantly more than 11,000 people at it. No, it was not a fucking mile long, the line outside, okay? I know you're here to jerk off Trump. I, I went to the Trump rally, they're all so great, MAGA. I know, but come on, Jesus Christ. Provoke a scene? But then, as people are wont to do when stuck in a long line, we started to chat. First pleasantries, and then to more serious topics. Why are they in a different and art here's style? what I discovered. These people were so nice. No one harassed me. No one intimidated me. No one threatened me. This is literally the Richard Spencer strategy. This is like, dude, all these people who wanted human rights were so mean. And all these neo-Nazis are so nice. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you're a white woman. No wonder they were not. It's insane. Even if you weren't a white woman, how nice a person is is not a metric for the legitimacy of their political opinions. That's what people like Richard Spencer have done before, of course, Milo Yiannopoulos leaked that thing where, Milo, where, where Richard Spencer like f screamed and fucking unironically chimped out over the optics of the fucking Charlottesville rally and screeched about how the Jews hated him or whatever. Um, what Richard Spencer tried to do was come off as the suave, polite, kind, swarthy uh, white supremacist or white nationalist or whatever. He's a Nazi, whatever. Um, in the hopes that people stupid enough to fall for this grift will look at him and go like, oh, well, he can't be that bad. 
the, how nice anyone is to you is not an indication of their political values. In fact... Oh, not swarthy. Swarthy means brown, sorry. I meant like, um... What's the term? Like, uh, not swarthy like brown. Like, um... Like, uh, rugged, you know? Like, uh, like, um... Suave. I think suave. That's it. That's it. Not rugged, but like, you know, cool and... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. When I mentioned I was a Democrat, their response was invariably a smile and welcome. These were decent, hardworking wow. people from- Hey, and if somebody in a line next to me for a Bernie rally was a Republican, they were like, yeah, I'm just here, I'm a Republican, I just want to see what it's about, they would be treated so fucking nicely. Guys, this isn't, this isn't abnormal. At all. If, if there was like a Republican- Now, if there was a Republican who went to uh, a Bernie Sanders rally and they had like a big sign like, you know, tr Trump 2020 or whatever, and they made a big fuss, then obviously people wouldn't want them there. But if a Republican at a Bernie Sanders rally gave the impression they were just here to check out the vibes, they would be treated extremely well. Like extraordinarily well. This isn't, this is, this indicates nothing. It means nothing. Every walk of life, electricians, lawyers, school teachers, what is small business owners, veterans. I'm what? Yeah, that's what people online say about Trump. There are no construction worker Trump supporters. There are no small business owner Trump supporters. What point is being made here? I, I, the liberal left led me to believe that there were no lawyers who supported Trump. But then I found one. What else have they been lying to me about? What are you talking about? I might question some of the policies they supported. Like? They were only too happy to debate me. But I couldn't I question- Oh, you're not going to actually say what the differences are? Oh, I bet you're not. I bet you're not. There's not a single fucking thing you would disagree with them on. And their good intentions or decency. Inside, the atmosphere was electric, more like a rock concert than a political event. People were dancing and having a fantastic- You realize that's a bad thing, right? Treating a political event like a rock concert? That's not- This isn't a good thing. That means it's a fascist- That's like a rally. That's not a good- That's not- that's not good. Uh, the point of political rallies generally is to celebrate the policies of your candidate, not to deify the, the person uh, uh, on stage. Also, 11,000 people? Again, like... This isn't trying to be like a dick-waving competition. How many people showed up... Um, How many showed up to the uh, Tacoma rally? I think it was 17,000? Yeah, about 17,000 people in attendance. Yeah, I, like 17,000. This is what 17,000 looks like, okay? So imagine about half of this, and that's what this bitch is saying was a, was a rock concert, okay? This, you'd, you'd think, like, this isn't the largest um, get together that Trump has ever had. It's just kind of pathetic how much she's trying to sell this as some sort of, like, glorious... She's like Trump's hype woman right now, you know? Time. They were actually enjoying themselves. What, what? As it happened. As opposed to, as opposed to Democrats at Democrat rallies. Since two days earlier, I had been in this same arena for a Democratic Party rally. The contrast what candidate? was stark. What candidate? Whereas the event for the president was full of optimism and enthusiasm, the Democrats event was all doom and gloom. Wow. You, I base my political opinions off of the how exciting the rallies are. Do you have any idea how fucking stupid you come off here? Like, do, uh, I was a Democrat, but then at the, the Trump rally, there was a big party. Everyone was having so much fun. And, but at the Democrat rally, it was really quiet. Like, what the fuck are you talking? I don't care. Nobody cares! For all people make fun of fucking neoliberals about making politics into whatever dumb shit Nancy Pelosi is calling Trump these days, or, or reducing all of it to like petty bickering civility politics, the right does this just as much, if not far more. This isn't politics. I don't give a fuck. This is, this isn't even a, this isn't even political aesthetic. This is literally how much fun did you have at each of the rallies? The country was racked with racism, sexism, and xenophobia. Yeah, sucks. At the Trump event, the participants were bursting with national pride. 
of course the president touted his achievements, especially the economy. That's all he talks about at his rallies. That's literally the only thing he talks about. The only thing Trump talks about at his rallies is how good he is, how smart he is, how everything he's done is good, how everything everybody else has done is bad, and how Joe Biden is sleepy. Like, of course he doesn't talk about the bad shit. He's a narcissist. He doesn't want to talk about the bad shit. He's the president. And talking about any bad shit would, would, would it reflect poorly on his projected self-image. And attacked his opponents. But I was surprised how funny he was. Oh my God! He never flagged. He seemed to be enjoying the event every bit as much as his audience. Yeah, it's his event. It's for his ego. Something else that surprised me. While the crowd had obvious affection for the country's chief executive, there was nothing slavish or mindless about it. Oh, you, yeah. Oh, uh, the Trump rally was so fun. I loved how fun it was, energetic. But there was nothing mindless about it. It felt like a rock star party. It was a rally. We didn't really talk about the issues, but there was nothing mindless about it, you know? Uh, it was, yeah. Oh, my fucking God. These people are the death of America. It is insane. Caitlin Borisenko, or whatever the fuck that stupid bitch's name is, is single-handedly the death of America. She's every grift packed into one. It's astonishing. How how much she manages to pack in. She's the, I was uh, part of the left until they showed me how intolerant they are. She's the, well, I'm not, I'm not saying that like the policies X or B are all I agree with, but they were so much more fun and energetic at the Trump rally. She's the, well, everything was political uh, when they started talking about policies, but then uh, actually I make my political decisions based on which rally was the most fun. She is literally like describing in positive language how she was suckered in with no discussion whatsoever on policy issues by aesthetics. She is proud of the fact that she's like, this bitch would uh, have voted for Hitler in the, um, in the election before Hindenburg appointed him. 100%. Yeah. That you could use all of this to defend voting for it. Like, Oh, Oh, well, the SDPs rallies, they were talking about rising fascism. They were talking about the economy but the, the, the Nazi party's rallies, whoa, they were really energetic. They loved having me over there <laughs> um, as a white woman. Uh, yeah, there was so much fun. Everyone was so energetic. Yeah, Hitler had great enthusiasm. Th literally everything she has said could be perfectly applied with absolutely no loss of fidelity to Nazi Germany, effortlessly. It. These people were not stupid, not brainwashed, and as far as I could tell, not racist, sexist, or phobic anything. I'm sure you'll understand when I say that I do not trust your characterization of any of these traits, given that I think you're stupid, brainwashed, racist, sexist, and phobic everything. So, did going to a Trump rally change me? Well, my values are the same but my perspective is different. Notice how none of the values have actually been talked about. Notice how she hasn't mentioned a single policy or a single disagreement, not once. The only thing this video says is there was a Trump rally she went to and she had fun. That is literally the only information that has been, uh, that has been brought about here. God, I would love to debate her. I actually, after I did a video on her, cause she did a video on me and then I did a video on her and her video was pathetic. Um, she was like, oh, I don't want to debate Vosh, but maybe I will if he emails me and asks. So she's conceited, too. But I don't know why she would sink to debating little old 200k YouTuber like me when she's getting fucking PragerU contracts. I'll even say the experience made me a better person. I learned that the people who come to these rallies aren't there because they hate anybody. Mm -hmm. They're there because they love America. Somewhere between... The last Trump rally during the 4th of July was literally taken up by him talking about how, um, how, how the enemy of America are the Antifa BLM protesters. He's de dedicated about half of every recent rally, at the very least since the protests started, to uh, dehumanizing his political opponents. In Pearl 1, Knit 2, I had lost that love. Now I have it again, and I'm grateful. The rally also reminded <sighs> me that we are a people. Yes, we have fierce disagreements on how to solve our problems, but those who differ with us are not evil. Thinking that they- Yeah, they absolutely are sometimes. They absolutely 100% are sometimes. 
Yeah, like easily. They are. That's the problem. I know. Yeah. Uh, people, people being fascists isn't the problem. Hating fascists is the problem. I can't. I'm sorry. This bitch is so fucking stupid. I, by the way, she doesn't believe a single fucking thing she's saying, by the way. Uh, she is a massive grifter. She does not believe a single fucking thing she's saying. Um, God, what a disingenuous cunt. Holy fuck. These people are bad for my blood pressure. I take it all back what I said about food, by the way, okay? What's causing high blood pressure in this country is not, as a matter of fact, highly processed foods that are being sold for cheap, okay? That is not uh, actually the problem, all right? There are other factors that are contributing to high blood pressure, okay? And it's very bad. It's not good. It's very bad. How to do something about it. Yeah, women. 